get there we go all right I'm gonna be recording my streams as well they're gonna be going up on my second YouTube channel and I'm gonna try recording them in real time so hopefully this works uh, better than downloading from Twitch we shall see um, gonna see how the quality is so hopefully that doesn't cause any hiccups if it does we'll deal with them al along the way but uh, hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo we are here with our caimans who are presenting a bit of an interesting situation we have right here this is our female uh, her name is right now it's this Ciara I can't I don't know if I, I can't pronounce that but a lot of you suggested that because she's a caiman we should call her Callie and so I think we're gonna go ahead and change her name to Callie um, oh. I don't know if I can spell it right. Um, oh, and I did not get it in there properly. That's right. It's uh, at least... Oh, hello? Am I allowed to change? Oh, I have to hit enter. Okay. I forgot how the naming worked. I like that it doesn't, uh, doesn't just let you rename things by accident, except when it won't let you rename things at all. So we have Callie, and then somewhere around here we have our male came in too. Um, not in the bush, I don't think but we do have him somewhere. Hopefully y'all can hear me all right, too. Hello, welcome to the stream. Uh, I hope my audio is working, so uh, it, it should be. <laughs> I'm still very new to Twitch, so it might take me a little bit to get things sorted. Is he in the mud bath? I can't actually tell. Oh, I can select them from the exhibit, though, can't I? If I look at the animals. Uh, Tristeo. Okay, or I'm probably saying his name. I apologize for pronouncing things wrong. I'm not great at figuring out pronunciation, but he's just chilling over here. Oh, he's bronze rated, too. I didn't realize he had a, had a bronze rating. I don't think Callie does. Um, she just has a normal one, it looks like. So he's actually got some pretty good genetics. But the problem that we've been running into these guys before I unpause the game is that uh, the guests have not had the best um, view of them from here. And we do have a very large exhibit. We have 700 meters of uh, land space and 450 of water. And the Caymans, if we look at our, um, our, our animal uh, info over here, if you look up the Cayman, if I can find it. I wasn't able to find it the last time there. Kuvier's Dwarf came in, um, hopefully pronouncing things right again. But if we look here, they only need a 182 and 79. And because we have so much more area here, I think we're running into problems with the guests not being able to see them. Uh, and of course we have this absolutely massive wall. I don't know why it's it's such a such a high wall, but if we look, I did not click the Cayman, but if we look here, they need it needs to be greater than five feet, and I don't really know what's up with that. I don't think they're supposed to climb, so that might be a bug. But um, yeah, we've kind of we've built a really nice exhibit, but I'm worried that we built it so nice that um, that they're not going to be able to actually be seen. So we may have to move the Caymans out of the exhibit we just built for them. And if that's the case, we'll probably put some gharials in instead. So I'm going to try to obtain some gharials here. And because uh, we look at them, and I see you guys say my audio is good, so thank you for that. Hello, welcome. Oh, hey, <laughs> that's I think that's Dove. Hello, Dove. A um, couple people I know who are popping in. Uh, welcome to everybody who's new. I'm not sure if Twitch is updating the viewer account well or not, but yeah, thank you, thank you for coming to everyone who's here, and welcome to everyone who's just joining in. We are in Planet Zoo, but if we look up the Gary all over here. Um, they need 210 meters of land and 300 meters of water. It's still a very large exhibit for them, but it's a little bit more of a, a normal one. And in fact, I almost wonder if we look at, is it alligators or crocodiles? Oh, uh, saltwater crocodile. All right. I couldn't remember which one it was. Um, we could also do crocodiles. Uh, that have 210, 210, but all in all, it's just a very large exhibit for animals that probably don't need quite that much space, and I think it's to the point where it's sort of hampering things a little bit. So I'm actually going to unpause because I think overall things are going pretty well, but uh, we will be making some tweaks to this, and I'm probably going to look into trying to get some gharials or some crocodiles. I think at first that'd be a good place to start. It's not zoo, we want animal trading. Let's look for... Gerals. Oh wow, there's some really, really. Oh, and there are there's some really. I think these are the albino ones, actually. Yeah, albino white skilled pale yellow markings. That's so cool. So there's different. There's uh, al there's albino. There's um, I think there's melanistic as well. But ours are ours are just normal. I don't know if they have those genes or not. At some point, I would like to try to get some of the more specialized animals. But for now, we just want to kind of get some some good ones. 
and probably look for some that are going to have good traits. Where did he go? I'm going to just find him from the from the menu here. Um, if you look at Tristeo, he had some pretty good genes. I'd like to view... Hello? Oh, he's right. Okay, you have to actually click him like this then. Still getting used to the controls a little bit. It's been a good bit since I've played. But if we look at his genetics, he's got pretty good genes overall. Most of them are in the green except for longevity. And if we compare with Cali here... Well, the longevity is still not great, but we can at least get a step up from what Callie's is, I think. So, um, yeah, overall, I think we've got a, a decent starting pair. We'll definitely want to try to get some that have better genetics as time goes on. But for now, this is totally fine um, as we go down the, uh, or as we go for get further along and start getting into um, having, uh, being able to adopt more expensive animals uh, with better genetics because right now we do not have a lot of the uh, conservation credits and we don't have a lot of income either. And in fact, I might want to pause so we can build this because it looks like our finances are on the decline. Oh, no, maybe not. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get started building just a little bit here and see what we can do. So if we look at... We still want to build for the Cayman. Um... Let's see here. The problem I'm running into over here, too, is I want to bring this wall down a little bit because it's so freaking massive that it's just... This area, when you go back here, it feels really boxed off, and that's not quite what I'm hoping for. So I'm thinking maybe we can even put a, a guest building in this corner and move some things around. But, um... First things first, I think we'll start off with Garials. Uh, they, they might be a better fit for this exhibit. Uh, I think they needed more room than the um, crocodiles did even. They need more water area. So let's see if we can find any of them in the uh, listing. And see if we can start bringing some of them in and start getting them into quarantine. So we'll look here. I got distracted. Um, if we click on the Garial and then remove the Cayman, let's filter to find what Garials are available. There are some very expensive ones, my goodness. Um, let's try to find some that are a little bit cheaper, maybe, because we do not have that many conservation credits. Um, but we could actually probably get some pretty- oh, this one's actually quite cheap. Okay, I think we're gonna snag this one for conservation credits, because she is quite, uh, she's got quite a good rating there, and we lucked out a bit, I think. Um, let's also make sure we move her straight into the quarantine so that she can go through that. But if we look at the species data- Oh, wow. Um, oh, so you can have a larger group size. Up to seven males, up to seven females. So we could actually have probably one or two males and multiple females probably would be a good way to go about this. Um, let's continue looking. We have one very good female. I'll try to get a very good male as well if we can. Uh, hopefully one that's... Well, does it, does it let us compare mates if they're not in the exhibit, though? It may not. So we might just want to keep the one for now. Um... Or try to get another female, because I suppose technically, my concern is that sometimes when you find animals listed on the market, they are related animals, and so I would rather not inbreed if I can if I can at all help that. Um, oh, we gotta open the storage, is what we gotta do, and then from here, we can also see the ones we have in our other zoo. Um, so let's move you to the quarantine here, and start to uh, start working on her. So let's, let's see if we can start having her pass that, hopefully. Um, let's see if we can find another female Gariel, and then whenever we get these two into the exhibit, then uh, we should be able to make sure that they- it doesn't matter if the females are related, we just want to make sure that the male is not related. So, inspector arriving in three months. We've got... looks like all of them are available for- only for the conservation credits, which fortunately we do have some, and I'll try to claim the login bonus from logging in as well. Uh, that's a male, so we don't want to get a male just yet. The others are all very expensive, so I think we should make sure... Um, hello everyone, too. New people are popping in. Welcome to the stream. They look like crocodiles that had their nose run over a truck. Oh my goodness. They, yeah, they do have quite, uh, quite the interesting snouts there, that's for sure. They've got very much nose. Oh, hey, Callie is gonna have babies! Hey, wow, that didn't take long at all. Alright, I think we're gonna go for, uh... Shrevee, 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 I'm so sorry. 
Sh Shravia, I think her name is. We'll go ahead and adopt her as well. That will cost us some conservation credits, but uh, now we'll have two females, and it doesn't matter if they're related, because probably what we'll do is we'll end up picking probably the best of any offspring that they might have, and then um, finding a mate on the market to prevent inbreeding there. So let's go ahead. We will move you to the front gate quarantine. And I think we'll go ahead and pause because I think we're going to have an inspector showing up pretty soon. But uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get a better look at, at our canines now that uh, the sun is up. I'll see if I can find them. Oh, they're over here. They're actually getting their food. Oh, good. I'm glad they got fed because I was a little worried they weren't going to. Uh, but we have Callie over here. And uh, we have Tristo over here. And they are both enjoying a nice fishy little snack. It looks like, woo, kind of zooming around. But they're so pretty. I really like the uh, kind of leopardy markings on their jaw. I was talking about that last time. But uh, they're, they're, they're quite pretty creatures, honestly. <laughs> um, they have some really neat markings. So let's go ahead and we're going to start building on this other side, I think. It might be wise to build in kind of a guest area though. So maybe we'll do that. So let's go to paths. We are, I think we, our money is on the decline. So it might be wise to put in some guest buildings too. Um, okay, so uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the excitement in the chat over the, um, over the Babies My Goodness Shrek. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the Shrek of, Shrek of Crocodiles for the Gariel, perhaps. Um, you do not have to set up a nesting spot. It's kind of like if you ever played uh, Zoo Tycoon, they, it's kind of similar. The babies kind of just appear. If I remember correctly, um, you don't have to set up a nest or anything, uh, at least as far as I know. The babies just kind of poof, went, poof into existence when it's their time. <laughs> so, all right, can we... There we go. We can get this grid. Um... This is not going to align, is it? Huh. Interesting. I'm okay with having it kind of look like this, I guess. Actually, I want to delete that and delete this because what I'll do is... Um, where is the... Oh, square edges. That's the option. We'll do that. Oh, I guess it kind of... I guess it, it does these as well. Nope. Okay, so I, we're just kind of locked to having one or the other, I guess. Well, I guess I kind of like the, um... <sighs> yeah, I guess I like that better. So we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll deselect the grid. We're gonna move the tree. The trees are always in the way. <laughs> so let's scoot the tree out of here. And I think over here we'll, we'll put in kind of a shopping area, sort of. Um, if we put in some construction, we can start out by putting in some, um, shop fronts here. For now, we're just doing breeze block. I'm going to kind of just match the pattern we have over here, which is not great, but we'll come back and we'll reskin a lot of this stuff later on. Uh, right now it just needs to be there for utility and we don't exactly have uh, a lot of income or a lot of things unlocked. I don't think I have anything unlocking on maintenance though. I should actually change that because we want to start researching things. And probably, usually the first thing to research is barriers because you can get that sweet one-way glass, um, which helps a lot. So if we go here and we do this, I think any buildings we put in should match up. Oh, that works pretty well, actually. If I go to advance, move, rotate, we can just scooch it a little bit. That should work pretty well, I think. I'm going to pause briefly to go to the zoo because I want to try and get the, uh, where is it, mechanic research started. We will have Alberto go ahead and start researching the barriers because we look at this, um, well, you can get Gabion, chain, concrete, I don't, don't we already have concrete? But um, one-way glass, oh I didn't know thick glass is a thing, that must be new. But one-way glass is really, really, really handy. <laughs> uh, it helps with the animal's privacy needs quite a lot. Uh, we are building the Garial Pen. Welcome. I see some new people are showing up. Uh, this is indeed franchise mode. This is uh, technically our second franchise zoo, but the first one we've done on Twitch, I did one for a little bit on YouTube. So let's look at facilities because we probably want to get some vendors in. You know, you always got to have something at the front of the zoo like that. Um, we could put in... Is there a gift shop, too? 
Oh, a research center. Interesting. Um, I didn't know they had those things. But if we looked at the guest, uh, there's the chief beef, gulpy slush, gulpy soda, information center, loony balloons. Oh yeah, loony balloons is their gift thing. There's not like a big store that you can actually go into. Since this is the entrance, we want to put in an info center, and this is the kind of expensive part. Um, we may... Uh, we're gonna have to sit and wait a little bit for our income to go up. I hope we don't go bankrupt right off the bat here, because that would be a problem. Um, but let's put in... We'll put in the slushy one. And we'll kind of just start off here. Um... Oh, did that not go? We might need to put in a path specifically to connect. If we do this... There we go. Um... And then I'm gonna just leave this one empty for now because we're down to 4,000 and we really need to be kind of careful there. So I'll leave that one empty just for the time being. We'll just wall this off and um, we'll start, I guess, let's not move the um, Caymans until after the inspector comes and then um, Hopefully by then we'll have a little bit more income as well. Uh, the money always gets a little tight in this game, especially first starting off. So we'll just put some roofs on here. Um, wait, no, we want the two meter one, don't we? Uh, if we go this way, there we go. Hello, are you going to let me place it where I need to? There we go. So again, this is kind of just the quick and dirty. Um, we're not really trying to make it super fancy because we don't have a lot of the themes unlocked and we don't have a lot of money. We just want there to be something so it's not completely ugly. <laughs> um, but for now, this is this is reasonable. And we gotta add these, that was not where I wanted that to go. We gotta add these buildings to the uh, work zone so that the vendors that are there, because they all come with a vendor, um, we'll be able to go to the work zone. Oh, and I should, I have to assign the staff to the work zones, don't I? Let's go to the work zones panel here. Where is that? That'd be facilities? No. Staff? Infrastructure? I'm confusion. Uh, oh, it'd be under staff. It'd be under staff. Oh, good. We got quarantine pass. That's good. Um, let's edit this. And we've got some people over here, so that's great. Let's go ahead and assign these, um, and then we want to, that's right, we want to mark these as, let's see, front gate info, oops, info center, uh oh, uh, that's a little, oh, maybe it just started over, um, alright, I think it maybe just started like a new, a new period or something, what is this, low on cash, yes we are. This is going to be a theme. Oh, we've got a visiting player. Hello. That's right. People can um, people can visit occasionally. So we can go see who is uh, visiting the zoo. I don't know. I think that's kind of just randomized, but this is just another player who's uh, customized themselves here. So we'll add these in. Hopefully these are starting. Oh, good. They are turning a profit, it looks like. Why is guest happiness at, at zero, though? I don't understand why this one has got such a, a problem here. <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with that. But our finances, it looks like overall are going up, so that's a good thing. Um, but if we look over here, yeah, 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 we're having problems with them not being able to see. Some of them were coming up over here when they were eating. But uh, yeah, that's definitely a problem with how far back they are. So we, we kind of need to adjust this exhibit, I think. Um, we could put... See, this is why I want an exhibit with lower lower walls here, because then it makes more sense to have the walls be low right in this area. But you can't even do that with the um, with the Cayman. I'm gonna just for the time being as kind of a quick fix. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, change this to glass and this to glass, just so that people can see a little bit better on the side. That'll help with the visibility just a little bit. Um, it's gonna try to catch up on comments a little bit, sorry. Um, oh yeah, welcome to those who've come from YouTube, and welcome to anyone who's new. Um, yeah, the zoo gift shops are honestly great. I was, see, I was very much the plush obsessed kid, and to be honest, I'm a, still a plush obsessed adult. <laughs> there have been a couple of times when I have bought myself plushies as an adult, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just a little bit of a trip to, to realize I'm an adult and I have my own money and I can do these things. There's no one to stop me from buying a, a cute wolf plush except my own finances. <laughs> so 
know, not, nothing wrong with a, a little bit uh, of plushies in moderation, even as an adult, though. But the zoos do have great ones, like, truly. They have some really fun plushies a lot of the time. Um, how much do you have when you first start off? I think we had 20 to 30,000. We dumped most of it into this. <laughs> that is where most of it went. And all these staff buildings. Actually, the staff buildings probably cost even more. Uh, and it looks like overall it is going down, which is kind of a problem. Oh, the inspector's here. Great. Uh, let's hope that he thinks that everything's okay. Um, oh, good. They kind of came back into view. Thank you guys for cooperating to the, the Caymans here. Thank you for cooperating and letting the guests watch you. And I think having some of them over here helped as well. Um, but we do kind of need to rework this exhibit just a little bit because it's kind of um, kind of difficult for the guests to see. Um, can viewers of the stream play Planet Zoo and visit you specifically in real time? Yeah, I don't actually know. Oh, 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 Callie's about to have her babies. I don't actually know if that's something you can do in real time or not. I, if so, I've never figured out. As far as I was aware, I just thought it was kind of, um, something that, uh, that kind of, like, basically, um, words are failing me. <laughs> like, I thought it was something where it's just randomized, where, oh, this person is Planet Zoo, Planet Zoo, the game just kind of plonks them in, and it's not actually something where you can visit other zoos, but maybe it is, and it's just something I don't know how to do. Um, but I think it, it can- Oh, hey, look, we've got a baby! I think it's kind of just a thing where it, it um, it spawns men. We've got two babies! <laughs> oh my gosh! Alright, so we should look at these guys' genetics as soon as we can to see, because if they have good genes, one of them will probably be the uh, caiman that we keep and then try to find a good mate for to try and improve our genetic line, but um, we will have to see. So let's take a look at these two and see who we've got. We've got Adair. I'm, Ad Adair? Adair? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with this. All right. Let's look at the inspector report and then we'll look at the babies. Okay. Education is bad. Why did you think it was a four star? It was at least clean. Oh, oh, okay, before that changes, though, I didn't put in trash cans. We're pausing and doing that because we're going to have a problem if we don't put in trash cans. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Facilities. Oh, if we're running low on money, though. Um, where is the... Not utilities. But, um, benches and security and uh, bins. All right, let's do... Right here, we will put two... And right here we will put two, so that hopefully anybody who's coming out of here will be, um, will be good. Alright, there we go. How are these doing? Um, guest happiness 100%. It's already made $500. Why is the guest... Oh, it's too expen... Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've got to turn the prices down. Alright, let's, um... Let's synchronize costs. All right, yellow umbrellas. Let's turn these way down. They seem happy with the prices of the slushies, at least. So we'll put these down. I think I can just click this, can't I? $3, $3, $3, $5 is kind of expensive. Well, is $5 expensive for an umbrella? I've never bought an umbrella IRL. I don't actually know how expensive they should be. <laughs> um, and then we'll do 30 15 and 5 for these and then an audio guide we will make available for one and um, I think yeah it'll it'll turn down our profits but um, it'll make it more accessible to the guests which is a big thing what are the thoughts here no recent guest thoughts so far people are liking them though I'm gonna actually turn down the slushies that's an incredibly expensive slushy that is the problem with zoos in in I, I like I get why they do it but you always end up spending so much if you go to a zoo or a theme park that they get you with is the food <laughs> the food and the and the merchandise that is the downside of zoo gift shops is they're they're expensive as heck all right um that's gonna bring up the guest happiness prices are great value oh good okay I think we fixed that problem um all right, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with buying a plushie as an adult, as long as you're not, like, spending all your money and you're still being responsible. There, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, I, I hate the mentality that plushies are for kids. No, plushies are for anyone who hecking wants them and can afford them. <laughs> like, there, there's nothing wrong with having plushies as an adult. Uh, they're fun. Okay, so we have Ludmilla and we have Adair. And they both look like they're pretty normal. I think they got towards the low side. Yeah, it looks like it. Um... Adair, I think, 42%. I think the range could go up because of his father. That's Callie. Um, where is Tristeo? 
Whereas here he is. Here's the dad. So up to 50%. So that's kind of not what we were hoping for. Um, there, We probably will end up eventually moving them um, or putting them up for, for sale or release. I don't know if we can release them or not. Because uh, their genetics aren't the greatest, but they sure are cute. Oh my goodness, look at them. They really are cute. My gosh, this is an error. Look at that face. Oh, he looks so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love him. He's great. Look at him. And he's he's being very obliging and hanging out where the guests can see him too, which is excellent. He and his sister both, it looks like. Oops, I gotta get out of, of camera mode before I can click on her. Looks like they're both hanging out right where the guests can see them, which is great. Uh, that's very much what we want to see. So very, very nice to have the babies here. Uh, we need to call the mechanic because the barrier is starting to get out of the green. It's just nice to make sure that you stay on top of that because the last thing you want is all the caimans escaping into the zoo. Um, but see there, oh look at, see somebody really like it. Seeing the, uh, the dwarf caiman so clearly is awesome. I'll cherish this memory forever. That's great. <laughs> that's exactly what we want to see. So I think, I think that's a lot better. Um... Let me see. Umbrellas are usually twenty dollars. My gosh! See, I live in <laughs> I live in a desert. We have umbrellas, but we don't have to buy them regularly. Uh, we just have a scattered few that we keep in the car. So I've never had to actually buy an umbrella. They just kind of exist. Hello? Is this? Do we need food? Are right, how are the animals? Are they hungry? Are they? That's hunger, isn't it? Okay, feeders. And bedding. Okay, we we could do we have we unlocked more? Because I think we're researching these guys too. Um animals, let's see. Uh da, 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 da. wait, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking I wanna look at vet research. We don't have anybody researching the Cayman. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do that. Gosh dang it. Okay, so that'll help, hopefully. Um we've got enough enrichment. We don't have enough bedding, is that what they're saying? Alright, if we look here, let's look at these guys. Do they need bedding? They need more enrichment, right? Only partly covering, so it's it's not as bad as it could be, but it could be better. We definitely want to do that research. But I wanted to look at, it looks like they don't need hard shelter. I think, I, it doesn't seem like they actually have that need. It's saying that it's fine. Um, so I don't think we actually need to worry about that too much. Um, what I'm more worried about is the finances. Um, we've got a lot of people buying the slushies here. We have made $800 from slushies, okay. Um, hmm, I think, oh, I, I'm going to synchronize the prices, too, because it's nice to have them synchronized. Uh, let's look at the gate and see if they think that the price is too cheap. Did it, does it say, does it say, um, I'm going to bump up the adult admission to $5 and see if that helps. Um, because I'm very worried about our money going down as much as it is. Like, I don't want to be worried about the money, but I have to be worried about the money because if we run out of money, then we can't have a zoo. So I do have to worry about the money. Um, yeah, I, I, some plushies are a little bit more expensive, for sure. Sometimes they do run a little bit, a little bit more so, and... It, it, it just, you know, it depends on how much it matters to you. Like, if there's one that you really want that is more expensive, then if you can afford it, there's nothing wrong with buying it. Um, as long as you're not going outside your means or, like, spending all your money on it, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so, oh, oh, the vendor's out for the time being. That's what's happening. Okay. Vendor had to take a break. Oh, I need to assign the zoo to, uh, staff to the staff, um, to the staff work zone, or to the work zones, right? Okay. Um... We gotta actually do that. But yeah, again, it kind of, it just depends on, you know, as long as you're not spending too much. There's nothing wrong with buying plushies as an adult. <laughs> as long as you can afford it, and if it's something that you want, then go for it. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah, totally valid, totally valid. If it's, some, if it's something that you really want, and there's nothing wrong with that, as long as it's not impacting your life in a negative way. Um, and the inspector's already coming back, my gosh! Okay, um... <sighs> Getting a little stressy about finances at the moment. Maybe we should... Because these are turning a profit. I'm going to, you know, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to... Going to take a little bit of a risk here. Going to take a little bit of a gamble. Before we run out of money, I'm going to put in a Chief Beef. <laughs> um, oh, where is it? There we go. Hold on. Face the right direction. And then go... Oops. Hang on. We gotta go here, 
I'm going to put in a chief beef because I think that will help our overall finances. And we're going to make sure that um, we include this in the work zone and we include the staff in the work zone too. But I want to do prices. All right, let's bring this down to like $8. Let's bring this down to like $4. I'm going to make everything cheaper because we may sell more of them even if we're profiting less is my theory on it. Um, let's exit this because I want to name this front gate bin. And then, um, front gate chief beef. <laughs> we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, they have turned a negative profit so far. I hope this is not a mistake. Oh, no, we got guests coming in. We got guests coming in. Um, the zoo is low on cash. Uh, cash. The gharials are past their quarantine. Um... I think overall we kind of just need to wait for our finances to go up. We can we can turn oh we can turn up the speed. I forgot we can do that. I hope that doesn't just oh that research is complete. Nice. All right, we've got a research level. That's good. Um. Oh and yeah, we're in the negative. This is a problem. Okay, how do we deal with this? How do we deal with this? I don't know. Finance management. We can probably see where it's going, can't we? All right, income is just generally low. Ah, uh, I don't know why animal transfer costs, construction costs was a lot. Staff wages is a lot. Can we, oh, I don't want to turn down the staff wages, but I think we might have to. Um, yeah, we're going to have to turn this down a little bit because some of the, oh, no, that was not what I wanted. 200 is what I wanted. There we go. Can we do that? Yeah, they don't like that as much, but, um, we're gonna have to do something because we're losing money. <laughs> Alright, that's... Eventually we'll turn these back up again. I would like to, but this is a... Will you let me change the finances, please? This is a, a big expense. We're gonna have to turn some things down for the time being. And hopefully that will help. Okay, where else are our finances going? Um... Taxes, habitat area, okay, that's not too bad. Um, purchases, a lot of it was construction cost, so that should get better. Ongoing expenses, staff wages, animal food, habitat repair, facility running costs, scenery running costs, so I think, yeah, I don't know, how do we, how do we encourage donations? Nobody is, in, nobody is donating, what the heck? That's why we're running out of- that's why we're running out of money. Nobody has donated. That's not- ah, uh, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. I think our finances are starting to trend a little bit more upwards, though, hopefully. Yeah, they're- they're a little bit more so, and I don't want to make our staff unhappy, but we need to have enough finances to be able to keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> oh my goodness, I hope this does not fail right up the bat. But it's going up to the 300, so that's good. It's up from the 500, so that's good. Alright, we're starting- we're starting to do better, I think. We're starting to do better. I'm gonna fast forward it a little bit. Yeah, we're getting back into the positive money overall, aren't we? Inspector arriving in two months. Yeah, we're gonna have bad things happen if we can't get the finances up by then. VIP guest. Okay, who is this? Who is this? Um, oh, click say hello and it gives you content. Uh, um, oh, that's T! Oh, that, that's Teacup Simmer. I know her on YouTube. <laughs> so that's right. You can wave to them to say hello. Now, I don't I don't know if this is a real-time thing or not. I don't know if, like, that's actually a thing you can do. Uh, I'm gonna have to look into that more, because I thought it was just AI people show up occasionally. Um, but it may not be. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Please. <laughs> we need our finances back up. All right. If I... Let me look here because I think... Alright, what is... Why is guest... I'm thirsty. There's a... There's there's a there's a slurpy stall over here. Oh, it's... Okay, so it's busy is the problem. Ah, but I can't do much about that. Alright, I'm gonna have to turn the finances back up a little bit. Let's go to six. We'll put all of these at six. And we'll try to get this working. I think we're gonna stick with it. They're starting to go up a little bit more. People are actually getting umbrellas. What about this one? How are people thinking here? Prices are great. I think that was left over from when it was too expensive. So let's put this to 150. 
Um, the adoption packs can stay, and then the umbrellas will go up to four, because I turned them way down. They were at six, and I put them- or five or six, and I put them at three. So this is still an improvement. Um, and we're back up into the positive money. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So I think we're recovering. I think we're recovering. The staff are going to be less happy for a little bit until I can fix this. All right. Oh, we're starting to go up. I've, I've turned it back on fast forward. Okay. Um, put education near donation box. Oh, maybe. Um, let me turn this back. Uh, we've got education near a lot of them, except over here. Are people starting up inspectors here? Oh, we've got a reward. What do we get? Drink profits. Oh, we earned money for that. Thank goodness. Okay, I think we're pulling out of it. Um, and that one we're starting to... I think it might be because they can't see them, but they can see them pretty clearly from over here. So that's probably what's going on. Um, so if we get these guys moved in a better exhibit where they can be seen more clearly, that should help. I think that's what's happening here. Uh, we're low on cash. That research is complete. We now have another level for the Caymans, which is good. Um, and then we've got... That's just about the animals that have passed quarantine. Okay. So we're getting there. We're getting there. It was a little tight for a minute, but I think we're doing better. Putting that one donation box where the people can actually see the Caymans definitely helped. <laughs> um, we've got... We're up to the 2000s now. Inspector is left. Education is still bad. But, um, at least the cleanliness is good. So what I'm gonna start doing over here... I'm almost tempted to put more bathrooms. I mean, we've got bathrooms right here. What are people thinking about the bathrooms? That's the exhibit. People don't... okay. You can put a price on the bathroom, but that's mean. I'm not- I'm not doing that. If you, if you have to pee, you have to pee. I'm not gonna charge you money to go pee. <laughs> So, but maybe I should put one on this side, too. I'm kind of contemplating that, maybe. Um, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. If we align to grid... Well, no, because that's not going to help. If I do... Put a path, like, right here. I could put a path here. That would work. Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That worked. Okay, we're good. Um... Because I think then I can put in bathroom over here as well. I We have bathrooms. I know we have bathrooms, but um, I want to make sure that we have enough because the guests were kind of complaining about them over here. And so that might be something that we want to do. And I am going to fidget with this to make sure that it lines up because I want to make sure it looks nice. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. We should be good, right? That's pretty much lined up. If I place that here, and then I should be able to put path... I cannot put path to it. Why can I not put path to it? Um, let's move this then, maybe. Because the guests can't actually get to it. Let's, let's, not, let's not do that. Let's, um, let's edit the group, maybe. Um, if I hit exit, and then I go... Well, no, I think I have to put something on it first to be able to move the group. So let's go to construction. At least our money is uptrending now, because otherwise we were going to have a problem. Alright, let's do this. I know y'all want this. It is it is a bathroom. We definitely... Oh, they can... Oh, they can get in! I thought they couldn't get in! What the heck? Alright, I, I guess that's fine then. Um, maybe I'll move it. Okay, we got more vet research. Alright, let's see. I want to move this, though. I just want to scooch it this way. And if we do that, then if I go to paths... <laughs> didn't stick. <laughs> oh, sometimes the, the movement in this can be a little bit fidgety. Alright, let's go ahead and click that. That's what I gotta do. And then I still cannot, but okay, that's... Alright, we'll just move it so that it looks like it's in a place that it should be. Um... We will go like this. That that works. There we go. That works. Um, I guess if I remove this, then that works as well. There we go. So now we've got a little bathroom area here. That should be better. I'm going to put breeze block walls around it just so it matches, and hopefully that's not too expensive. We will move this tree uh, in a moment here as well because the tree is once again very much in the way. <laughs> um, and then let's this, that, put the riff on. I'm okay with spending a little bit of money on this because it's it's not a whole lot and I think that should help the situation a bit. Um, hopefully this will get us right back on track with where we need to be. 
So let's go this way. We will do that. And we should be good. Alright, there we go. Um, it looks like the guests are all AI. Okay, so yeah, it's not, it's not, you can't actually visit each other's zoos, which is a little bit sad. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it is AI then. Um, uh, I guess we'll say front gate bathrooms right. Front gate bathrooms right. So I think that works. Um, shelters for the guests, maybe. Okay, they usually run to shelters. Uh, oh, hey, B! Hey, welcome to the stream! Um, Alright, let's see. So, shelters for the guests is something that we might want to do because it was raining. Um, they did, ha they, most of them did get umbrellas, it looks like, which is good. But, let's see, is there... Where would that even be? I guess awnings, maybe. Or... Um... Yeah, I don't know where that would be. Maybe somebody else knows where that would be. But I do not offhand. Alright, let's see. We should put in a reptile house of some sort, too, at some point here. What have we got? That research complete? Nice. We are getting more research on the Caymans. We should probably check into that and try to bump some of the, their stuff up. Okay, we've got... Oh! Does barrier research translate between... It looks like maybe it does. That's actually really handy, because I we must have researched some of this at the previous zoo. That's really good to know. Okay. Huh. Not in zoo. I guess the research trans transfers. That might be a new thing, because I don't think that was the case the last time. Why do you have low wel welfare? Oh, are you still... Oh, we need to move these two back to, um, let's send a trade center. Um, all right, move them to the trade center. I don't think that's going to actually put them up for trade. I think that just put them back in the trade center. At least I sure hope it did. But I think leaving that, leaving them in quarantine. Yeah, okay. They're big. So I guess leaving them in quarantine doesn't, uh, doesn't actually help. <laughs> all right. I thought they would be better looked after in there, but apparently not. So that's good to keep in mind for the future. Let's look at our work zones once again. If we go to staff, bum, 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 bum. okay, you don't have a work zone. And we need to look at our front gate zone, edit work zone. We want to include these things as well. All right, um, Animal Trade Center 1. All right, we need to mark the Trade Center as being front gate. Um, all right, there we go. Let's see. Every research transfers. Oh, nice. I swear that wasn't the case when I started playing because I remembered reading something that it wasn't. So that maybe that has changed since I started playing franchise, which is super nice to see. Oh, look at the babies go. Look at the babies go for those fish. <laughs> they're, they're, oh my goodness. I've never seen the fast run animation like that. That's great. <laughs> they kind of just waddle their way over. Oh my goodness. All right. Um, why is our money down so low? Is it still going up or is it dropping again? It is dropping again. Why is it dropping again? Oh wait, you know what I bet happened? I bet we just had a new month start and we had to pay the staff or something like that. So we gotta get some sort of other exhibit in, um, so that we can start working with, um, what was I saying? So we can we can start. We we gotta get the Garials in, and we gotta get the new Cayman exhibit set up. Okay, that research is complete. All right, we've unlocked a new research level for the uh, Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. All right, so I'm going to start. Well, first things first. Let's look at. I'm gonna turn this down again. Not all the way up. That was not what I wanted. It is the opposite of what I wanted. Let's go to facilities. Let's see. Um. It's not facilities, it's habitat is where I want to be, okay. Um, let's look at the Cayman. And we'll try to get the new exhibit set up for them, but for now I just want to see... What is... What are all of these? Well, we have some of them. Water jet enrichment. I don't know what this is. I don't know how this works. We'll try putting in a new type of feeder, because I don't think they had any food... Um, like, I don't think we had any food enrichment for them. So we'll try this. Put this like right here we can move some of this over and i'm gonna start terraforming the area i think because i still want to kind of have this 
area here sort of thing, like what we've got. So we'll probably try and bring up this um, this land area. So let's go to terrain. Let's do, not terrain, stamp, sculpting. Let's flatten the surface. We will make sure we get this area. Because I do want to have this up so that we can still have the, the deeper water by... Um, by where the uh, guests are going to be able to see it. That's what I want to have happen here. This does cost money. Thankfully, it does not cost very much money. Um, and then what I think we can do is we should be able to smooth this out. And this can be where we put our water. Um, and we'll have kind of the similar thing that we had just on a much smaller scale because the Caymans do not need as much space. Uh, as the uh, gharials and the crocodiles do. So we can make this a lot of a smoother transition in here, basically. Um, is kind of the idea. So let's go over here. Um, if I flatten this way... Uh, let's go this way. I think that I can probably do is we can just put in like a concrete barrier down over here. So let's do barriers, let's do concrete. Put one this way. If I do this, and then we, well let's, actually no I don't want it there, I want, let's do, let's start out with the glass. Uh, that is way too far to go but we want to make sure that the guests will actually be able to see here. Um, let's do this. That's too far. I guess I can always tweak it a little bit once I've placed it. That's about right. Let's do this. And then let's do... Start here. Let's do the um, concrete. Now I do want to kind of scoot some of this back then it looks like. Let's go to terrain. Let's go to flatten. And we can go this way. And I gotta delete this then, though, it looks like. We just wanna make sure that, um, not blueprint, blueprints, hello, I cannot talk. <laughs> uh, we just wanna make sure that this is um, about right. And I will smooth this down just a bit so that it's not quite so steep. And we'll probably line it with rocks or something. So let's go back to barriers. Um,. And if we bring this out to like 20 or something, probably all the way to 20. Um, maybe not all the way to 20, maybe more like 18. That's about good. We got another VIP guest. Uh, let's try to snap this. We'll go like that. All right. Um, let's see, where is this VIP guest? Who is this? Um, or, um, em emily emily oh sorry <laughs> i will say hello and you earn conservation credits for that all right let's see yeah that is some big fish uh in the in the the thing over here there were some very very large fish so how is our welfare doing for these guys barrier status we got to call the mechanic again it seems like they kind of decay kind of quickly here but i think if we look here oh that's the overall welfare isn't it is it saying we don't have enough feeders or just that they're not full? I'm gonna call a, a keeper over maybe? Let's let's call the keeper too. Um, where is this call keeper? And uh, we'll see, cause I think if we set this up over here, we should be able to, let's just go to terrain. I do wanna, oops, that's not what I wanted. I want to flatten this. We'll make sure that it kind of comes out beyond the wall. We want the wall to go up on top of it, basically. Um, and then we'll have some staff paths back here. So let's go to barriers. We are earning money again, and hopefully soon we can turn the staff wages up because I feel bad. I don't, that's not what I want to do to them. Oops, I want to make that all the way to 20, though. That's not, I don't want to make the, um, oh, it looks like we, uh, it looks like Callie might be about to, or might be going to have another baby. We'll have to see how this goes. Um... But, oops, wait, I should bring that out a little bit further <laughs> um, over here. Make sure that that's good. Uh, and we'll have glass up top here as well. Um, I just want to make sure that it uh, it fits so far. Let's go over here. Ba -ba 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 -da. And I think this should probably be pretty good, right? 
Uh, hopefully this will provide a lot of space for the guests to be able to see. Uh, I also want to make sure that we extend our paths. Um, let's do seven is the width we've been going for here. If we go up this way, that will indeed let us bring a path along here, except we want to make sure that it is flat because it is apparently not. Let's make sure, oops, that's not what I wanted. I want to, if I do this, that should flatten it, right? Yes, looks like. All right, so let's make sure we run our path right, it's still not though. Okay, I think we have to remove this part of path to be able to flatten it. So let's come over here, there we go. And now our path should be pretty flat. We can bring this right over here and I think this will be enough if we um, extend up, let's select our barriers, let's do that. I wanna select the whole thing that we've got so far and then I wanna make it a lot taller. Um, Let's go up above the ground. Let's do this. I Hopefully that will not be a problem. I think if we do this, it shouldn't be. Oh no, 370 is off the farthest on the corner. So it's gotta be all the way up to five. All right, here we go. I want it at exactly five. Can we do that? We may not be able to do that. All right, we'll do 470. I think it was 475 that it needs to be above. So we can do 475 there. All right. Now, if we extend from here, uh, actually I want glass, then this should be a lot more visible um, to the guests, and that will be a good thing. Let's come down here, let's go a little further. Let's do just like that. And then if we come back up this way, then we can go right here, right? Actually, I kinda wanna see if we can do a curved one though. Let's make this all the way... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, that's not a good place to go. No, um, we gotta not do curved right off the bat. We gotta have, like, one little... No, I want glass. <laughs> I want glass. I definitely want glass. And then, um, oh, some of that still is concrete, it looks like. So, and then let's go over here. We want a little bit there. And now if we do curved, it would make it a very long piece. That should do this. There we go. And then I also want to select this and this. Hello. There we go. And we can turn that to glass as well. So that should be a much better, um, a much better visibility area. <laughs> I think we'll have, because it'll run all the way up over here. Um, and that should help quite a lot. Um, it might be. I yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see if we can fill this, though, with water. Uh, let's see. Um, water here. Let's do calm water. If we do that, we can have quite a large water area. We'll have even better underwater visibility, which is cool. <laughs> um, if I... Although, actually, I want to delete that really quickly because I think maybe what I can do is if I move that and I delete this and then I edit the barrier, can I move this one somewhere? Can I move? I cannot, all right. So let's let's just undo that. That, that what, what we had worked fine. Uh, we are starting to go up in finances too, which is really good to see. Um, and I think what I will do is I will add a staff path coming off this way. Um, and we'll have run this right behind. What's going on here? Well on cash, got more vet research though, which is good to see. Um, and I'm glad this transfers, because this will make it- I want to do multiple zoos at some point, um, and this will make it a lot easier. No security guards. Well, we haven't had issues with crime yet, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. Um, what did I have over here? What kind of path? I had- was it this kind? It was this kind. Alright, let's do this. Let's do starting like right here. All right, let's go back here. And we'll probably put a keeper hut back here as well at some point. For now, I probably will root it just through the other keeper hut. Um, but I think what I'll do is let's make sure we kind of uh, maybe smooth out this terrain, I think. Let's try and see. I don't know if it'll let us where it's close to the barrier, but it might. All right, let's come this way. Let's make this a bigger area, and then we'll smooth it down as much as we possibly can. And we can kind of hide some of the lumpier parts with, like, rocks and stuff, because we've got some issues there, it seems like. 
All right, let's, um, I'm going to pull some of this area and I'm going to push some of this area down a little bit so that hopefully we can smooth it out a little bit better and make it so the path can run up it. And then we'll put our doorway on the back and that should be good, I would think. Let's go to paths. And, uh, no, it's not going to let us do that. Alright, let's remove this piece because we have to smooth out the bottom more, I think, is what the problem is. It looks like. So let's try this. And I will actually make this uh, a bigger path, a longer path here. And I think, oh, it's, it's not quite smooth the way it needs to be, so let's, um... I spread that that way and put a rock in the corner to make it look a little bit less uh, goofy on that side. But I think that'll help. And if we run our path up here, I think this will be good now. Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, let's try going that with that. And then we will put in the back of the habitat, or we need a barrier, sorry. Uh, let's do a glass habitat gate. My gosh, why is it that tall? Oh, it's because, um, okay, I see what it's, I see what it's doing, all right. We gotta delete this. We gotta go to barriers. We gotta go to concrete. Let's go, uh, that's not what I wanted for you. I want to make it a very small barrier. Why can't I, why can't I not do this, though, is the problem. Terrain too uneven. Oops, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted either, hello? Hello? Excuse you? We do this. And then I can run like a larger, a larger segment here, I guess. And then I can hopefully link it. I cannot link it. All right, let's let's um, delete this because I think I got to. Oh, it disrupts the water. Alright, gotta clear the water. Um, gotta clear out the water here. There we go. Now we can remove this, and now we can kind of fix this weirdness here. So if I go to terrain. I go to sculpting, we can flatten right here, and then if I smooth that out, that should help. There we go, that should help. Okay, so we're getting there, we're getting there. We're hopefully going to have our second habitat in today. I'd like to try and finish that. We're getting a little close to the end of the stream, but not too badly just yet. <laughs> uh, so we're, we're getting there. Let's go this way. It needs to be a little bit more. Alright, if I do, like, oops, I think it's... Was it 17 that we were at? I think it was 17. Oh, no. Let me place. There we go. There we go. Is that better? It is not quite straight. Okay, let's um, let's run this one then to make sure this one is straight. And then I think we can place this one here. We run it this way. That's That looks good to me. And now we can replace the water. <laughs> uh, that should be good. And we have another inspection. Um... You know, actually, I think I'm going to, well, I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to run the, uh, I'm going to make the glass a little, the glass area a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. We're getting, thankfully our income is going up, but I do want to bring the staff wages up with it as soon as I can. I feel kind of bad that, um, that they are, uh, having such low wages at the moment. Um, let's run this a little closer. I'm probably gonna end up with it like the exact same placement that it was before or something like that. But, you know what? No, it's not. Hello? There we go. Alright, that works. That works. So now let's put a door in the back of it. We'll put a glass habitat gate in. That actually works beautifully. Alright, let's place that. Uh, not right there. Let's put it like right there. It was a little bit offset from where I wanted it to be. And now we can actually see, let's make this, this is, well, this will be the new Cayman enclosure. How much terrain space do we have? Uh, we need water area. Like right here. All right, we've got, what, what do we need for our Caymans? If I go to, that is the, the this is the Garial, yeah. So we need, oh, the inspector is left. Let's take a look at the report real quick. Um, education is still very bad. Nothing much has changed, pretty much. Um, but at least our, at least, I say that and then we're low on cash again. But I think we just had to pay out to some people. Um, but we're getting, we're going, we're on general upward trend. So that's a good thing. Alright, let's see. Um, 180 land, 79 water. So I think, if we look here, that should be good, shouldn't it? Alright, um, 
yeah, so I'm gonna undo that just enough so that I can, um, we can go ahead and I will flatten this bottom a little bit more. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Um, I'm going to make a little bit more water area. We'll kind of, there's gonna be a little bit of a bank there, but uh, we'll go ahead and make the water area set a little further in the land area a little bit less. So I let, usually like to try and do twice the amount that it calls for. Um, usually that's kind of what I go for, but let's go ahead and um, put the water back in and we should be good to go, I think. If I go up here, what are we looking at now? We're looking at 280 land, 198 water. Oh, catch you later, Dove. Um, and I think that should be pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, we got to add some rocks in. I'm going to go ahead and we will put those in, I believe, well, the Caymans we know can have the tropical rocks. So let's look at, nope, that's not what I wanted. Um, biome, tropical. Let's look at the rocks and we'll put some of those in. Uh, because I want to make sure that we've got this area kind of nicely, looking nicely sealed off, basically. Yeah, we might have to, yep, because that's on the outside. We're going to have to scooch some of these so that they do not poke through the fence. But I think that should be okay. We can go ahead and maybe rotate it a little bit. Like this, and then we'll try and scooch it a little bit further, perhaps. I'm going to be very picky with my placement. Um, oh, that peeks through, though. Maybe we should just let it. Maybe we'll let it. Maybe we'll let it go through, and then we'll kind of add a little, um, little bit plate, a little bit of a place on the other side that's got some rocks as well. Oh, and y'all are gonna get to hear my trash truck, which you've heard if you've been on my YouTube lately because I've been recording on Trash Day. Hey, uh, yeah, we we have the trash trucks that come here every time, and they like to interrupt my recording slash now streaming time. <laughs> um. It's kind of just tradition at this point, I think. I can't even be mad, but they're, they're just out there doing their job. It just happens to be at the same time as me. <laughs> so, um, maybe if I put this one here, will that fit? This might? Nope, that's not what I wanted. I want it like that. It's a little bit. Um, and then if we put in this rock, if we go up here. We're, we're getting there, y'all. We're getting there. Let's place this one in, and we can place this one in. I think we're just about done. I just want it to kind of look a little bit more, um, a little bit more even, because uh, it really wasn't the way we had it before. It wasn't all that even, and I want it to to look a little bit nicer over here. So there we go. We got some rocks. Some of them peek through, but we'll be able to fix that a little bit more. Um, let's kind of do what we did with the other one and add some tropical rocks to uh, make a little bit of a border here. And um, have kind of this cliffy area, because these cliffs are always cool. And if we do that, and then we do this over here, we can have a nice little cliff area, and then I just want to make a little bit of a, a place where it tapers off. Come down here. We can add a few ones in. I really like getting to just play with the rocks in this. Like, you can make some really cool uh, kinds of structures with them. Some really nice cliffs. Uh, and I really have a fun time with that in this. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's kind of kind of cathartic in a way. <laughs> so there we go. We've got our rocks in. Uh, what have we got here? No security guards, low on cash, mechanic research. Wait, what's going on with the uh, Cayman cleanliness? Hello? Hello? What's going on? Oh, the water. Okay, so I get a pause to deal with that then because we don't have a water area uh, or a water filter kind of thing. So we got to put that back somewhere. Uh, we want to make sure that we deal with that. Um, looks like you're developing a game a little bit. Uh, this is not, unfortunately, it's not a free download and I think it's just for PC. It's called Planet Zoo and it is available on Steam, but it is not a free game, unfortunately. Uh, bum, 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 bum. We gotta put in the what am I what am I looking for? I'm looking for the um uh the I forgot the word of it. It's the water thing. Okay, so water treatment. This should deal with the situation. Oh, this'll okay, so depending on where we put it, it'll does it have a negative impact on guests? It does. Alright, so we wanna put it somewhere that it's gonna be out of the way of the guests. All right, so maybe I'm gonna look over here. 
What have we got? We could put it... We could put one over here somewhere, probably. Um, in fact, I wonder if we could put it right here, even though if we add it to this group. Is it ever going to connect to... Like, which way it is? Oh, it's this way, isn't it? Alright, if I do that, it did cost 2,000, but we need it because the water right now is not a clean, uh, not, not clean water. <laughs> um, oh yeah, so it's, it's very fun, it's a very fun game for sure. And that's cool that you're saving up to buy a gaming desktop. They're, they're definitely, they can, they can be really nice to have. Alright, um, I'm really hoping this means that it's accessible. I, it looks like it should be, but sometimes that's not intuitive. Alright, so if I turn this back on and we look at the, um heat map here. Negative impact on guests, but we want to look at the water. Oh, good. That will... Oh, and it'll clean this, too. Perfect. 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 Alright, so we just want to make sure we put it in the work zone. We are still low on cash, for sure, but let's go ahead and... So this is... I want to look for staff. I want to look for work zones. Let's edit this work zone, and we'll include this. And we will include this, but I will probably eventually move it to a different work zone. We'll include the uh, new Cayman habitat. So... Um, alright. And this should say that it's in the work zone now, right? Um, front gate water treatment. I did not know that the front gate did the front, because the front, so the front gate, if we look at our power, oh, and Callie's about to have more babies, but if we look at the power, the front gate provides an automatic amount of power. Apparently it doesn't provide automatic, um, uh, automatic water cleaning though, but let's follow Callie and we'll get to meet her new babies again because we did the last time uh, She already has had a few a few babies and we'll get to see she's gonna have some more it looks like So we'll see if any of them are a little bit better basically we've got several goals with the zoo, but one of them is to further the um, Like we want to improve the genes of our, our animal lines And so we're gonna be looking for the best genetic offspring that we have to keep for the next breeding pair whenever uh, Callie and Tristio uh, end up getting retired from that. We want to make sure that we have um, the best possible offspring from them to find a good, really good mate for and then um, continue making the, the breeding line better, basically. And eventually I'd like to see stuff like albinism and stuff pop up. It would be cool to have some special animals like that, but I would say our, our primary goal is going to be breeding animals that are going to have really good health traits. Uh, we want to have the maximum possible um, health, longevity, or I think it's size, longevity, immunity, and fertility. We want to try to max out those as much as we can. And we have another baby! Oh! Look at this baby! Look at the other baby! We've got four babies now! We've got two of them from this... this... what do you call it with caimans? It's not a litter. It wouldn't be a... would it be a litter? Would it be a litter? I don't know. I think of like puppies or kittens when I think of a litter. But we have a... Oh, Edvaldo. I can never pronounce the name, so again, pardon me. Um, unfortunately, overall pretty good genes, but unfortunately not great longevity, which is the one that we want to see kind of an upgrade for. Um, and yeah, overall Valentina also has some pretty not so great stats. So let me check. Oops, I am stuck between the walls. All right, let's see. People like the uh, new viewpoint, so that's good. I think they'll appreciate it more once we've moved the um, babies into the new exhibit. So let's look at... Yeah, okay, Lumila was the other one. I was like, do we have two named Valentina? I was worried that we had gotten possibly the same one uh, twice, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to move all of the animals in this exhibit into the other... Well, we, yeah, we'll do that. We'll first start off um, by moving where... Oh, there's Callie. I want to I see Callie. I want to go ahead and we'll look at Callie. We'll move her... I want to move her to this exhibit over here, and then we'll move her and uh, Tristeo over to this one. We'll get the exhibit set up to be uh, good for them, and then once we've got that settled, we'll move all the babies over as well. And then we should be able to transform this into a gharial exhibit, and hopefully, we're kind of coming up on the end of the stream, but hopefully we can uh, get the gharials in here too. I'd like to kind of try and do this quickly. We're up to 4,000 again, so if I look at finance management, um, I was on the right, no, I wasn't on the right panel. Okay, purchases, 
we, it was all expense costs, or it was all uh, construction costs. Staff wages does cost a lot. Animal food does cost a lot. Habitat repair costs some. Facility costs. It's still mostly staff wages, so as long as we can uh, boost up our, um, our income, which I think is going pretty well at the moment. Uh, and we got a lot of donations, so this definitely is helping. We've gotten... Can I see how much people have donated here? I'd like to like to see how much they donated. It might not let us see. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not going to let us see for some reason. I don't know don't know why that is. Did they get glitched out somehow? They might have. I can't actually tell. <laughs> um, but we'll try and see. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause because we are definitely going to have an unhappy uh, Cayman over here. Uh, she's definitely not going to be appreciating this. Okay, so there's way too much long grass. There's not enough short grass, but there is enough soil. So what we want to do is go to terrain. We want to get some of the painting. Here we go. We want to make this all short grass, pretty much. All right, there we go. She likes that a lot better. There's enough hard shelter. There's enough swimming area, it looks like. So that's good. And then what we want to do is we want to go to environment. There needs to be more plants. We need coverage. And I'm going to actually move some of the plants over from this one uh, because we're going to be moving the gharials in and the gharials are from a different region. Also, we need to make sure that she can't escape. So let's look at, um, where is it? The animal welfare. Let's look here. Is it welfare or habitat? Habitat. All right. So it looks like she cannot get out anywhere, which is always good. You don't want your caimans escaping. Um, but let's see. We'll move the plants over because we're going to be putting the gharials in this one. And they're from a different region, so it doesn't make sense for them to have the same plants. That's too much coverage. So we actually have to get rid of the wimba tree. As much as I like the wimba tree, it's really huge. <laughs> um, so we'll move the yellow ipe, ipe tree? Ipe? Petri? I don't I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. I've said that so many times. All right, we do need a little bit more coverage. So let's move this one and we'll put that... I'm going to put this one over here, actually. We will move this tree here. This tree can move over here. Now, how is the coverage? Coverage is better. Um, if we move this over... I think this will help if I bring this this way. I kind of put the bush a little bit lower down. If we look, plants are better. Okay, so we want to keep this um, the mud bath if we can. I would like to keep that in. Oh, are we gonna actually have a place for it though? Um, let's maybe move this for now. I'm just gonna scooch this over here. We'll try and see because I'm gonna put we'll put the feeder somewhere that so the people can see. We will put that like right here. Oh, oh, okay. So they put like you hang the you hang the food up there, and they have to kind of jump to get it. I guess that's what that is. Um, I'd like to move the mud bath. We probably will have one of those for the gharials as well. All right, this is not going to let me move that, so we're just going to have to sacrifice the mud bath, I think. But we are we have been researching uh, the caimans, so I think that we will have um, we'll have better luck. Uh, finding enrichment for them now, I think. So let's put this here really close to where the guests can see. We will move this feeding plate over here, the food tray. And we'll put that somewhere off in this corner, probably. Hello? Can I place in corner? I want to place in corner. I want to place in, in the corner. Okay, I guess we can just put it there. Maybe not floating, though. That would, that would be ideal. Um... And if I go, okay, so it can't be there. All right, it's, maybe it's not smooth enough or something. So let's make sure it's at least telling us where we can or can't place it. I'd like to place it like right over here, but it doesn't seem to want to let us do that. So I'm going to do this instead. All right. We can put some of these lilies in the water because remember the uh, gharials have they're from a different place so anything that uh, non rock that's in here is going to end up having to get moved um, they are from I believe it's the gharials are from Africa slash Asia whereas the um, caimans are from South America all right let's see Oh, clutch, yeah. Maybe a, maybe a clutch, of, yeah, because I guess it, that's what's confusing me with this, because they kind of just poof into existence, but uh, rain, as Rain has pointed out, they would be um, 
laying probably a clutch of eggs uh, when I was questioning that term. <laughs> That's probably what it is. All right, let's go here. So it looks like this is all good. Now we want to look at the enrichment. I want to give them back their rubber duck. That is a fun one to have, I think. So let's, um, let's put the duck here. I don't know if they can like move it around. I liked having it kind of in the water area. We'll see if we can do that. Hello, where did the duck go? Where did the, the duck go? Huh, that was kind of odd. Oh, the duck maybe isn't on top of it at the moment, is what it's saying. If you move the base, the duck will go elsewhere. So I go there, oh there. Now, now it's, now it's um hanging out where it should be, I guess. So it kind of just glitched a little bit. That should work, right? Um, let's put in again, I should be checking on the temperature too because I'm a little, I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, let's put a sprinkler in here. That's obstructed, all right, we can't put it there. We can, where can I put the sprinklers? Hello? Hello? I can put it floating in the air. This is acceptable. This is, this is what, what you always want of a sprinkler. You always want it flying above the ground. All right, if I do this, that should be good. In fact, I bet I can even move it so that it's a little bit more hidden. We can kind of put it under the bush and then it won't be super obvious where it is. This is hovering. I do not want that to be hovering. I would like that to be lower down and we can kind of hide our, um, our thing in there. I like, I like making it look a little bit natural in that regard. Um, so now she should be much happier. I think if we, if we hit play, we'll just toggle. Um, nutrition, we can probably change. So if we look at, Ouch, these guys are expensive to feed. No wonder we're running out of food. <laughs> My gosh. All right. Um, we've got... All right, let's 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 take a look at that. So I'm going to change the names now officially too. Um, this will be the Gariel exhibit. And this will be the Cayman exhibit. That's not what I want to rename. Um, all right. And then let's select all the animals in here. I go to the animals, all, we are going to move them to this exhibit. There we go. And that should be good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this and maybe we won't put the gharials in this time because we are kind of running low on time. So, but we got set up for that because what, the one thing I just realized that I want to do is I want to change, um, I would like to change this side of it. I want to kind of make some adjustments to this so that number one, it's easier to see, but number two, the guest area is a little bit more optimized uh, because right now it's really not. So we might want to bring this back forward a little bit. We might want to make it more of kind of a triangular exhibit, but I also maybe want to add some guest buildings over here. But let's see what the guests think of it a little bit. And then the next time, hopefully we can actually move on to some new things and start making a proper home for the Gariel. It's also uh, a little bit of a shorter stream than what I am hoping to do. Uh, yeah, they ate the duck. <laughs> when the duck disappeared, they had eaten the duck. That, that makes perfect sense. Um, but uh, when the... Um, uh, Next time, hopefully, we'll be able to actually get the gharials in and uh, make some new headway. I just want to make sure we got this done. So let's let's move some of this education here. I think it maybe only counts. Whoa. What was... Oh, they just, like, hoover them. Oh, my gosh. They just, like, hoover the animals up into their crates. That's... This is totally how it happens in zoos. <laughs> That's totally what they do when they want to move the animals. They take a giant vacuum cleaner and move, and vacuum them up like an uncommonly large spider. This is fine. <laughs> um, I am just briefly going to remove that path and remove this path and this one. Well, no, I don't want to remove that one, but we'll try and smooth out the train a little bit because I noticed there's kind of a lumpy bump. Try and smooth this a little bit, I think. And now if I come back here... And we go back to seven meters. It's all still kind of here. Let's let's try like that. That works more. Um, here, let's try and maybe remove some of this. I want to here. If I go this way and we do this, um, it's still gonna have that weird little wobbly, wonky bit in the corner, isn't it? Oh, there we, we no nope, that was not what i wanted we kind of avoided it here let's um let's try and smooth that out again um 
It might just be because of the um, the thing, though, the the way that it is. Yeah, I think we're maybe not gonna be able to totally. Oh, we got we we helped it though. We made, we made it a little bit better. No, we really didn't. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> um, but yeah. So now we should be able to. Are they actually moving all the Caymans in? Oh, they're yeah, they're working on it. They're working on it. They're just transferring them out a couple at a time. So let's move this. We should also probably add some audio education too. But I think, do we have them all in here? We, yep, they're moving them in. They're moving them in, all right. And this should help um, because we have, oh, why do we, did Valentina, no, Valentina. Oh, it might, I think it's just counting. Yeah, it counts, it does count the genders of the juveniles, um, but because they're juveniles, it doesn't count towards the, um, oh, we gotta move this. It doesn't count towards the, uh, the limit basically so i don't know if it'll help to have a donation box there but i'm going to duplicate it and we will put it right up here as well because i suspect this will be a watching area too kind of try to put it more by the education a lot of you guys thought that might help and then next time we'll prep this for our garials because i think if we look at the environment um there's no coverage okay so 17 to 22 let's actually look at what the um the caymans range is to 11 to 30 oh yeah so they're right in the right range so that that's good to see and we actually are up to um we're up to 5,000 uh cash now which is higher than we were when we were having all the trouble so that's good i think i'm gonna slowly start bumping up staff salaries again just a few at a time so let's go back to oh, i don't know if you will let me do this hello hello um, let's start with the keeper and the mechanic. Get them back up to their proper salaries. And that should help with their happiness. Um, but hopefully it won't drain it too much. And I think, well, you know, we'll just bump everyone's back up. This is probably going to get me in trouble. Um, I think all these were at 220. No, they were not. All right. The vendors want more salary. 250 is fine. Maybe that's what it was. Even 240 is fine. We'll boost it by a little bit. I think. There we go. That should be good. That should be good. Oh, we never had docked the vet's salary, I guess, which is fine. That's. I'm glad that it worked out without needing to. So if we look here, I think everybody's doing pretty good. Let's look at the welfare. It looks like so nutrition could go up. Enrichment could go up a little bit. Let's look at enrichment. It's not going to actually let us see it. It's kind of glitching on me, I think, a little bit. So we'll, we'll have to deal with that next time, maybe. Um, but I think we are going to go ahead and wrap up here. It's getting to be about that time. So we're going to go ahead and uh, end off the stream, I think. Thank you guys all for coming. Let's see what the guests are thinking of the Cayman. Oh, they love it. Oh, they like the, they like the babies. So apparently the babies have, I mean, you know, I suppose fair. The, ba the babies do have good zoo appeal. Um, but oh my goodness. So they like seeing the babies, which is good to see. Um, I do want to call a mechanic here, and I do want to call a mechanic here as well, because we want to make sure that these stay nice, but I think we're, we're in a lot better shape, and so next time we'll work on getting our Garyels moved into this exhibit. So, um, is the mechanic, he's repairing, right? There's a few weak barriers to fix. Okay, so that's nice. Oh yeah, you can kind of see when they're starting to, uh, crack a little bit. That looks scary. That, that looks like that, that's gonna come down at any moment. Uh, it's not, but goodness. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and end off here though, now that we have gotten this set up. I like that this has even more, um, like you can see even more of the water area than in the previous one. Um, can I, I can, I can guess, I can zoom in. I can do first person, I can see what they're seeing. So yeah, you can see like the whole underwater here, which is pretty neat. Um, I really like that that's a thing that you can do uh, and that, that we kind of have that ability now. It's really, really neat to see. Uh, so yeah, we've got this all set up and our Gariel exhibit is just about ready to go. We just need to tweak the barriers on this side to make it a little bit easier both to see and also to be able to um, to add some more buildings in where we kind of need to add more buildings. Oh, and we are running out of bins, aren't we? How how are our, how is our okay? It's busted. Okay, never mind. We'll we'll deal that. We'll, we'll deal with that later. 
Um, the Cayman exhibit is finally doing a little bit better, but we do need more education as well. People are at least throwing money at the donation boxes, quite literally, which is good to see. But yeah, we'll, we'll deal with it next time when it's not quite so broken. <laughs> I don't know what glitched, but something has. So we're going to go ahead and end this off for today. Thank you to everyone who came. Thank you to everyone who's just showing up. It looks like we've got a few new people. Uh, again, don't forget to follow me here on Twitch if you want to be uh, aware of when I'm streaming. I do post about it on YouTube, but you can also check it on my Twitch schedule. I try to update that at the beginning of each week. And we'll be back here with more Planet Zoo actually tomorrow, a little bit later in the day at 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we'll be streaming again, so we'll get to visit these guys quite soon. If you guys have the chance, you're welcome to join us. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much, and uh, I will see you guys all next time.